you want to retire in Italy, what do you have to do, what do you have to select, what, which option do you have? Is it better to go with the so-called retirement visa, so the elective residency visa, or is it better to evaluate like the golden visa, the investor visa for Italy? The fact that there is a retirement visa doesn't mean that retirement visa is always the best way to for retiring in Italy. So it's really important to clarify, depending on your, on your needs or specific needs, if it's better to go with a retirement visa or it's better to go with a golden visa. This is Marco Bersani as always from the Bersani Love Office from Italy and do not lose any more time. Let's start. We always talk about the differences, so the process, the requirements for the elective residency visa for Italy and the golden visa, the investor visa. So it's pretty clear about the process, pretty clear the documentation, the requirement, the processing time, everything that is needed for the process itself. But it's really, really important to understand before thinking about the application. What do you need? What are your needs, your specific needs? It's true that you aim to retire in Italy, but it doesn't mean that just retire in Italy automatically the, type, the retirement visa, so the elective residency visa, is the best choice for you. There are different needs that we need to evaluate. That's why every time it's really important to us to make at least one consultation call with each client because we need to know you to understand your needs, to understand your goals, and to understand your actual situation. Because if your goal is to retire in Italy, but during your retirement you want to travel a lot, you don't want to spend most of time in Italy for a lot of reason, your personal reason, you want to travel or you want to run a small business, I don't know, you want to open a great tourism in Italy. So here it's really, it's really important to uh, understand your need. Why? Because it's true, we are talking about your retirement, but for example, if you aim to spend a lot of time abroad, well, the elective residency visa, so the retirement visa may be not the best choice. Why? Because the, one of the main differences between the golden visa and the retirement visa is that with the retirement visa, you should stay in Italy and you need to stay, legally speaking, stay in Italy for most of the time, so for more than six months in one year, to avoid any issues when you come back to Italy. Because, you know, potentially speaking, the immigration officer, when you enter Italy, they see how long you, you stay abroad. And if you stayed eight months in one year, so a lot of time during the year, if you stay abroad, they can raise questions. They can say, okay, but why you stay so long? Are you not interested anymore to stay in Italy, to maintain your residence in Italy? you are retired in Italy, so why you don't stay in Italy most of the time? So they can raise questions about your immigration status. So it's really, really important. Differently with the golden visa, for example, one of the benefits is that you can stay, I mean, there are no physical requirements to stay in Italy, so you can also spend a lot of time abroad and you can still keep your residency in Italy, your residency right. Those are just examples of the typical case that we see every month about the application for elective residency visa or the golden visa, but this is just to let you understand that if you go to search information, uh, or how can I go to Italy, what kind of visa I need, well, you can find some, for sure, helpful information online. But it's always better to make a consultation with a professional, with an immigration attorney, because you need to understand if you are making the right choice. As always, thank you so much for your time. If you have comments, if you have questions, something you want to ask, or if you want also to book a consultation that we always suggest, of course, uh, you can contact us through, through the website. There is a contact form you can use or for also booking a consultation call. There is a, a specifically for that. It's very easy, it's very responsive. So you can just book your consultation, select the day, the time, book your consultation with us. We are always happy to reply, to answer your question, to reply to your comments, your doubts, everything you want to share. And you can also leave comments here, of course, on YouTube, but here we cannot do consultation on online or social media. Of course, we have to analyze your case. Always very important 
to subscribe to this channel because you will be updated immediately you will receive a notification from youtube as soon as we post new videos about the argument the topic of your interest so it's very very important not just to like the video but to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for your time and see you on the next videos